up very, very fast. And so something has to be done and we support the steps the government's put in place. But millions of families across the country are going to be heartbroken by this news, having their Christmas plans ripped up. Uh, and I'm really frustrated because I raised this with the Prime Minister on Wednesday and he dismissed that and went on to tell people to have a merry little Christmas only three days later to rip up their plans. And I think the British public's entitled to more decisive leadership than that. They're getting confusion where they need certainty. It's very important that whatever the rules are, everybody follows them. So I say follow the government advice. Whatever tier you're in, follow the rules. It's very important that we all say that, the government and the opposition. Whenever you have a tiered system, you'll have different rules in different parts of the UK. It makes it more confusing. But I think overall, the public will be saying, just when we want certainty, just when we want leadership, we've got inconsistency, confusion. One thing said on Wednesday, Station another thing said on Saturday. The virus is spreading more rapidly in these areas. It seems that the spread is now being driven by the new variant of the virus, which uh, we spoke about earlier this week and learned about earlier this week. Our advisory group on new and emerging respiratory virus threats, NERVTAG, has spent the last few days analysing this new variant. There's no evidence that it causes more severe illness or higher mortality, but it does appear to be passed on significantly more easily. Nerve tags early analysis suggests the new variant could increase the R by 0.4 or more. And although there's considerable uncertainty, 